Hello everyone. Welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy and today I will walk you through how to create a React application with TypeScript. So I will cover the following. Um, I'm going to create a TypeScript project and show you how to install the proper packages. Then using Nodemon and concurrently to debug. So stay tuned and watch this great video. Okay, so our first step is to make a working directory. So do make directory hello world or whatever you want to name it. So cd to it. Then type yarn in it, and it's going to ask a couple of questions. So uh, I'm going to leave everything by default, and I'm going to say uh, this is a um, hello world React TypeScript program as a part of the description. Then leave everything intact, and then press enter and it's going to create a package.json which is what I expected then I'll type the following so do npm uh, install or you can do this yarn add uh, typescript and save at types react at types react dom okay that's done okay so our next command is yarn at typescript react react dom okay so that's completed Okay, so our next step is to type ts, I'm sorry, npx tsc init. And it's going to create our tsconfig.json file. Okay, so our next step is to open this project using VS Code. So VS Code dot. And as you can see, there are several files here in the hello world. Um, directory so open up package json and ts config you can see um, the default settings okay next let's modify our ts config.json file so strip out everything here to slim it down Okay, for for this effort, we're gonna type in JSX React, comma, and then target. We're gonna target um, ES twenty seventeen module. We're gonna leave it as common JS. Uh, strict is true. Uh, ES module interrupt, we're going to leave it as true. Skip line is true. Uh, what we need to do is specify an out directory, though. So we type in out dir is uh, this basically for distribution. So whenever we um, compile the, the code, it's gonna create the uh, packages inside the is directory okay and uh, yeah we're gonna force consistency casing in file names so that's pretty much it for now okay one other thing I forgot to include is the include so that no mon and concurrently can actually uh, look at um, 
and monitor the files as it's being chained. So we're going to put star star ts and then go ahead and save the file out of the word. Okay, so our next step is to create a new file called hello world dot ts okay and so in this file you're just gonna create a uh, simple function function uh, hello say hello right and declare a string okay and it's gonna print out the council so council log say hello from say hello string okay that's it and then um, from here just say hello 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 and then just save it okay so just minimize uh, VS code then here we're gonna do a clear and type in two commands to install nomon and concurrently so type in npm i dash d nomon okay it's done okay so let's do a clear and type in npm i dash d concurrently it's done okay so let's go back to our terminal and create a build.sh file so type vim build.sh and type in bin bash and type the following command so npx concurrently uh, tsc dash w for watch uh, quote node mon dash w for watch dist dash q for quiet um, then dist hello world dot js and then just save this file okay so let's quit this file and then do ls um, dash ltr and do a change mod plus x build.sh so this file becomes executable now open up VS code and modify package JSON so um, we want to type in scripts okay and in between what we want to type is um, start and type bill dot sh and then in build we want to type in tsc so we're going to call the typescript compiler and then just save the file and you can see that if you click on uh, the green button there's two options now to build or to um, debug basically build and debug okay so let's go back to hello hello world.ts and you can see the source code is here and let's switch back to package.json and you can see there's a green button here go ahead and click on debug and there are two options one is to build the other one is, is to debug by calling the build.sh file that we just uh, created earlier okay and there might be some issue here but uh, here's the result it says uh, hello hello and so we can just go and follow um, and uh, change this so to say hello world right and then do save and automatically it recompiles 
with the new um, output okay so if you enter something that is wrong or incorrect and then try to save as you can see here it um, gives us the syntax error and we need to fix it right and then go ahead and save again and it gives us the right output okay so let's say I add a function uh, call add and add two numbers together so we turn a plus b and here I ask it to uh, let total number equal to add less 25 Sorry, 25 and 25, uh, 75, right? And then um, do a council log total equal to total. And then just save this. And immediately you can see the result here is 100. Okay? So this is all the time I have. For this tutorial uh, I hope you come back and uh, watch more tutorial and please support me by pressing like and subscribe to this channel uh, and thank you for watching see you next time